So in this video, we're going to take a look at how to deal with the problem of spoof emails. Now, what I mean by spoof email is an email that appears to come from a colleague or a manager. Uh, so the email comes through. You can clearly see it's from your colleague or manager because in the from section of Outlook, it has their name displayed. Uh, you open up the email and it's asking you to carry out what is usually a fairly urgent action. So it may be asking you to transfer money into an account or it might be asking you to do something random like go out and buy some Amazon gift cards and send them to a certain address. Um, however, these emails usually ring warning bells uh, that don't always. Uh, but if you look at the email header, you will clearly see that the email hasn't come from that colleague or manager in actual fact the email address is an external email address and the email has been designed uh, to spoof you uh, into some kind of action to benefit the person sending it. So um, what businesses are doing nowadays uh, as a precaution uh, is adding these external email headers to the top of emails. So even though the email may look like it's come from an internal email address, so it's come from somebody internally to your business, um, you can clearly see that in actual fact it is an external email. So I know that if I get an email from a colleague or a manager, um, but then I see this banner, I need to start asking questions as to its authenticity. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create these banners in Microsoft 365 so that they can be added to the top of all inbound emails that come from external sources. So the first thing I do is log into the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and on the left hand side go over to the Exchange Admin Center option here. Now once I'm in the Exchange Admin Center I go over to Mailflow and go to Rules. And I have no rules set at the moment so I'm going to create my first rule in here which I do by going to the plus icon in the top left and going to apply disclaimers. So I'm going to give this a name and we're going to call that the external email warning rule. And we want to apply this rule. Now this is going to be based on two conditions. The first condition is where the sender is located. So I select the sender is located option and then I have this little pop-up box here. So what I'm going to do there is select outside the organization. So to identify the external emails we're specifying that the sender is located outside of our organization and I click OK there. Now at this stage I need to scroll down slightly to the bottom and select more options because I need to add another condition to this rule. So we've already specified that we're interested in external emails coming into the business. So we've already specified here that the sender is located outside the organization. I'm going to add an extra condition by clicking on the add condition button. And this time I want to specify that the recipient is inside the organization. So I select the, the recipient is located option, select inside the organization, click OK, and there are my conditions now set. Now, what I'd need to do is specify what I want to happen when that condition has been met. So where it says do the following here, I'm going to click on the drop down, apply a disclaimer to the message option. And you can see I can either append a disclaimer or prepend a disclaimer. Well, because we want this at the top of the email, the option I'm going to select here is prepend a disclaimer. And now I'll get the option on the right hand side to enter text. So what we're going to do here is we're going to enter HTML to specify exactly how we want the disclaimer message to appear. Uh, and if you go into the description on this video, you'll see some HTML that you can simply copy and paste and use in this, but do feel free to make your own edits. So let's go ahead and copy the HTML and just paste that in here. So what this is going to do is this is going to display at the top of each email 
external email, all in capitals with square brackets around it. Uh, there's a message that will appear next to that saying do not click links or attachments unless you recognize the sender and know the content is safe. And I specified the color and the size and the background for that text as well. So again, you can change those values to make it the color and the size that is preferable for your organization. All I'm going to do here now is click OK. Now you'll see underneath that, it's saying that if this HTML for whatever reason cannot be inserted, fall back to a certain action. So we're going to click on select one and decide what happens if for whatever reason that disclaimer can't be inserted. Now I'm going to select the wrap option here. So ensure wrap selected and click OK. Now what wrap does is if for whatever reason the original message uh, cannot be or the disclaimer text cannot be inserted, then the original message is going to be wrapped in a new message envelope and the disclaimer text is going to be inserted into the new message. So it just gets around any issues that we might come across there. So we specified the conditions. We've now specified what's going to happen. I'm going to specify a severity level of medium for this rule. I'm going to make sure that this is enforced from the get go. And I'm going to leave all the other options as default here. Um, if I want to add comments, maybe add some reasons why I've added this rule, I can add them in the comments box there. So all we're going to do now is click on the save button. And I can see that my external email warning rule has appeared and is ready for use. So we can see here that I've received an email though. This is an email that I've sent from my external Gmail account. So if we double click on the email, you can see the external email banner has worked and it's appearing at the top of this email. So I hope that was useful. If you've got any questions, do feel free to leave them in the comments section below. Otherwise, hit that like button, subscribe, and I'll see you soon in the next video.